stuck up on me, Pam. <laughs> Treat me like... Like a common dog, a mutt. Darling, he didn't. It's his first day. He was off with me on the phone. I don't know who he is anymore, Pam. He's changed. He's gone and I'm here bereft. I know, darling. I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> you don't. You got Mick. I got no one. I'm all alone. Well, what about Lucy? She's on some student exchange thing, dicking round the door door. And she's got no credit. I can't even text her. That's Smithy, listen to me. You have got to pull yourself together, darling. You've got to throw yourself into work. I ain't got no work, have I? No one's got any money. Still waiting for Mick to give me the go-ahead on the extension. I've got Dino giving it all that in my ear, going on about his child maintenance. Got this christening on Sunday I'm supposed to fork out for. My life's falling apart, Pam. Hey, ah. Uh. Oh, God, not this again, you two. He is struggling, Mick, to come to terms with the loss of Gavin. Gavin's not dead, Pam. Three days running I've come home to this, tears at the table. You are so cold, Michael. You are cold-hearted, oh, Mr Shipman. Argue, Your only son has emigrated abroad to another country and you couldn't care one jot. You couldn't care a J-O-T-E. I do care. I miss him. I do. I just think we've got to get on with our lives instead of sitting around here moping. Look, Smithy, we would like you to do the extension. Seriously? Because if I order materials... Do the bloody extension. And what are you doing home anyway, Pam? Shouldn't you and Dawn be rehearsing? The heats are in three weeks. It's off. Dawn and Margaret have had a fight. Why? Because Margaret wouldn't wear the costume. She said it was degrading. Costume? What's on about? <sighs> Me, Dawn and Japanese Margaret were going to enter Britain's Got Talent. Doing what? A medley of songs from Miss Saigon. I was just thinking, you know, I might still enter on my own. All that dress from Chicago. Come on, babe, why don't we paint the Right, hotel? look, what's happening on Sunday? Who's taking who? And all that jazz. Well, I'm taking Mum and Rudy, so I've got two spaces if you want to jump in with me. Look, it's all right, darling, we'll go down on our own. But if I'm not driving, I can have a couple of drinks, and if he's got two spaces... Yeah, but we don't want to get in his way, do we, Mick? Him and his sister and his mum. No, they won't mind. See? And you and Kath can have a little catch-up. No, I think it's a great idea. Take one car, save on the petrol, do our bit for the carbon footprint, eh, Pam? That's jazz. And the surprising thing about Terry is, although he doesn't look it, he is, in fact, our nominated first aider. Who? Ah, oh, now here's somebody you've not met yet. Owain Hughes. Owain heads up the website. Hi, oh, nice to meet you, Gavin Shipman. Owain Hughes. And before you ask, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we have a little seven aside on a Thursday if you fancy joining us. Oh, right, yeah, I'd like that. I mean, it's nothing too serious, you know? At the end of the day, it's just touch rugby, but some of the guys... Oh, sorry, I thought you meant football. <laughs> no, we it's play rugby. rugby. It is. Gavin! Gavin! He won't let me in! I wanted to surprise you! Oh, God. Got your packed lunch. Bryn, I don't need a... I'm sorry, this is my uncle. In law. This is Bryn. Hello. Hey, uh, hey. Bryn, this is Hugh Davis, my boss, and our website manager, Owen Hughes. Owen Hughes? And do you? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs>